I have been Orthodox now for 60 years, and yet all the time I'm learning something new. And what is the new thing that I've learned this time? I did not know until this visit to America who St. Madani is. And now I've heard many things about him, and I've had the privilege to venerate his holy relics. So when I return to Great Britain, I shall be able to say in my heart, Holy Father Madani, pray for us. Amen. Amen. What is the church here for? What does the church do? which nobody and nothing else can do? Our answer surely must be, the church is here to celebrate the divine liturgy. All the other things that the church does have their foundation in the Holy Eucharist. This is the life-giving source from which everything else proceeds. This is the sure foundation on which all the life of the church is based. And we may ask in the same spirit, what is the most important thing that a Christian does? And the answer surely must be to receive Holy Communion at the Divine Liturgy. That is the reason for our existence as Christians that we should share in the blessed sacrament of Christ's body and blood. And here I think of some words of the great Eucharistic priest early in the 20th century, St. John of Kronstadt. He says, when you receive Holy Communion, be as sure in your heart be as sure as the fact that you now breathe the air. Be sure that you are also receiving the body and blood of Christ. As you come to Holy Communion, say to yourselves, as surely and as clearly as I breathe the air, that so surely and clearly do I receive into myself the body and blood of Christ. This is the supreme moment of our encounter with our Saviour when we come to receive the Blessed Sacrament. It has been a joy for me today to see how many people have come for communion. 30, 40 years ago, often at the celebrations of the Divine Liturgy, very few people came to receive the sacrament, perhaps just a few children. In my lifetime as an Orthodox, things have greatly changed. And that is a sure sign of renewal in our Orthodox Church, that we are receiving communion much more often, coming close to our Saviour, far more frequently. And in what spirit do we approach to Holy Communion? Let us think of the words spoken by the deacon just before Communion. With fear of God, with faith and love draw near. So there is a contrast here, a contrast between fear and love fear of God. We are not to approach communion in a spirit of blind terror. That is not what the words of the deacon mean. We are not to come to communion with trembling and trepidation. But we are to come to communion with a sense of awe and reverence, with a sense of great wonder. What is this holy mystery that we receive. Communion should be frequent, but it should never be casual. You should never take it for granted. 
The other day somebody said to me, oh, I shall be going uh, to the liturgy, so I might as well have communion. That is not the right spirit at all. Coming to communion should always be a happening, a special event, something that we look forward to with eagerness, something that we look back upon with gratitude. So this is what fear of God means. Recognizing what it is that we are receiving. In a spirit of reverence, a spirit of wonder, a spirit of gratitude. <laughs> yet though we have fear of God, yet we come for communion. And why do we come? Because Christ invites us. He says, with faith and love draw near. We are each invited by Christ to come for communion. And let us respond more and more deeply and with far greater gratitude for this invitation from our Lord and Saviour. Sometimes the human person is described as a political animal. But it would be more true to say that we humans are a liturgical animal, a Eucharistic animal. We become truly human and truly personal when, with fear of God, with faith and love, we approach for the Blessed Sacrament. St. John of Kronstadt, whom I've already mentioned, used to say, the Eucharist is a continual miracle. So I ask you, renew the eyes of your faith before this continual miracle that is communion in the holy body and blood of Christ. Amen. <laughs>